Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Lerimic and welcome back to more Stone Half. Sorry this episode took so long to come out. Essentially, I was trying to have like some significant progress happen and it just kind of didn't. So um, we're back. I've worked on some side quests in the background and while these guys are fighting, I sent off the stuff for the carrot mini quest. So for those of you who don't know, uh, we had to get some carrots. It took way too long to do. <laughs> don't mind those guys. And we put some carrots out. I did it off camera and they were gone along with the baskets. Strange. Um, so I figured I'd uh, do that at the very beginning. So I have a feeling there's a little bit of a, uh, a timer. We still can't do healing items for the dwarves, which kind of sucks. Um, I, know, I, I was debating spawning some items in if we desperately need them, but it's like... Mm, I don't know. I think it's kind of a cheap way out and I would like to work for it, but... Uh, in light of uh, recent uh, gaming uh, work, I can't, I, can't really, I can't really put as much time into this as I would normally, but I'll, uh, I'll stick to it and I'll uh, try and get them done in my spare time. Uh, but the main thing we're here for today is, is the Fountain of Plenty. So this required us to get basically a bunch of stuff together, throw it in a box for the name of Charity. That's, that's essentially what it is. And they should be in here somewhere, if I'm not... Unless they were crafted? See, I have the cook working like, around the clock to try and get that sorted, but I... I don't think that that's been... Cr There's no way he managed to make that when I wasn't looking. So I have my, my eye on him like that. Okay, no, no, of course. Of course. We're not that lucky. Uh, so I don't want to queue those up, but essentially I'll kind of show you what uh, the behind the scenes of that is, because it's it's a nightmare to get this thing made, but once, once you get it, mwah, uh, we should be aiming to have it done this episode. And if not, well, I guess this one's getting scrapped and you won't get another episode for a while, so... <laughs> I mean, the ball's in your co court, Mr. Stonehalf. But essentially, um, I've just got a bunch of maintain orders going on this guy. Um, I've also got severe cataracts since I can't find... There it is. So yeah, he basically... We have a maintain order. No, we got, we got a craft order, which overrides everything else. So I hold shift, it goes straight to the top, I think. And essentially, it, we've just got a bunch of uh, regular craft orders and then maintain orders. So even if someone eats something that we put in there, the maintain order should mean he has that stuff. So... Again, this is all regular stuff that's queued in just by putting one in there, but I'll maintain all this down here. They're right there to make sure that we don't ever run out of stuff. And then everything else is second to that, really. Um, I, at least I, ho I hope he has an order of priority. I know, so, I know some people don't, and it's annoying, but um, that's the that's general idea. Um, over here, in, in the other side of things, uh, to make production on certain foods a little easier, I scaled back the shepherd, too. So uh, you'll notice now we've got two designated zones. One is for pollo, and one is for sheep. And if you come over here, I don't think the shepherd can make anything with it. But since one of the items for the food donation is Poyo Pot Pie, I figured, you know, might as, might, might as well. And that's pretty much where we're at. There's a few other things I want to do. I would like to mess around with the army, just get us into a quick little fight. Uh, you know, and then in the name of doing that, up, uh, hopefully we can fall up with the rabbit people. That would be pretty neat. And I think that's pretty much the order of everything I want to do. I'll uh, we'll skip him for now. Yeah, uh, actually, I've got, the, I've got more patrolling. Um, I have a feeling uh, the next rabbit thing should be coming up. We'll, we'll say next in-game day, so we'll wait it out. Uh, we'll let the we'll let the chef work overtime. Uh, just just see. I was debating actually. I have I have I have a, I had a thought. I had a thought, and we could do it. Uh, I, we could get. Hear me out. The second chef. Well, see, if you look at them, your, your job tree. I, the, yeah, those guys aren't in danger. Um, you can only really go for to a chef from a farmer, so it would require like ripping one farmer away to be a temporary cook. But I, but I think the temporary aspect is probably what would make it work the best, just because then we can throw it back on once we're done. And plus, it's some experience for our stone smithies, and no one doesn't really need it. So I figure, we, do we do we go all? We can't go all hands on deck because part of the thing is corn. But I figure if we get an extra cook on board, we we can start making some moves because. I mean, if we come over to our current cook, um, you're, not, not, you're, not, you're not allowed to take a break. But if you come over to your other cook, um, bad example. But normally, like, <laughs> first of all, he keeps walking out of this window. I, I put a door there for you. Ungrateful. Uh, but essentially, he just, he stops doing random tasks. You, you see what I mean? Like, yeah, he's rescuing someone else out of the goodness of his own heart. Disgraceful. And oh god, we're actually out of our depth. Oh, okay, Mr. Cleric, Miss Cleric, you are probably single-handedly about to save this town. Um, you know, okay, so it's just cancel. I am, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, can you go back to cooking? See, this is why we need a second chef. Because he constantly gets distracted. 
Also, happy 10 episode mark. I didn't expect this one to last so long. But, anyway, look at us. Look at us pulling through, killing all the enemies. And I think on that victory, is there any, is there any, I don't think there's any more that we need to worry about, is there? Um, are you just running off to fight some other enemy on the other side of the map? Alright, well, I think we'll, uh, we'll leave them from their post there. They're gonna, we can come back and do something in the day. Uh, but, how is Mr. Stone doing? Uh, he's working on it as we speak. So, uh, now is the fact of which guy we promote. Oh, they're, they're both maxed out. Uh, so, I want one with the most mine, because I think they craft faster. I, I, I read that hint somewhere, like, three years ago, and I've never used it, but now I am. Uh, so, that should mean, do we, have, uh, do we have enough workstations? I think we have enough workstations in here. Yeah, cooks so cook requires, like, a cauldron. You require as cooking table. You require so much stuff, it's stupid. But, my own real hold up is the level this person needs to be to craft. But well, actually, so let's see, donations to the Church of Plenty is anything. Um, okay, actually, okay, no, is it right? Cook of level three, cook of level three. And then, is, do we have a bunch of level one stuff going on? Because if we do, all I can do is it can kind of force the other cook into um, working on that, easing the work of the first one, and then they use that as a way to level up. Okay, that, sound, that sounds pretty cool. Yes, broth, for example, if we need to maintain that. I mean, we don't have any vegetables, but they can they can do that. Um, how about fish? Fish. You know, I mean, they can split it between them. Um, that, that's the idea. Uh, this is a general idea. And I guess now, okay, there's a, there's a camp over here. You know, I, I, how, how many people in our military are currently recuperating? Right, just 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 one? Okay, okay. Then there is no reason why you shouldn't be able to take these guys out. But... I think since um, since it's probably going to take a while for our cooks to catch up, I just figured I'd record this little opening seven minutes or so. I'm going to cut the episode here, and I'm going to come back when hopefully, as I say, it's very, uh, very not full of hope. I, I doubt this will happen, ideally. But hopefully, um, both cooks can, you know, they can get in gear, and hopefully, you know, get all get the work done. And yet, while, while they're at it, you know, the townspeople can finish whatever's going on here. So it's been a little while, and I've decided, you know what, I'm switching directions. We're able to craft the fighting fountain. I, I don't care about this fountain of plenty anymore. Uh, so, what we got to do first is we got to abandon the current quest, and then I think, uh, official like, yeah, we come back in here, Valor of Sid, mm-hmm, uh, wait for our little uh, friend over here to come craft, and uh, we're golden. We've got a tier two, tier three town now, and... We just got some uh, some some quests. So first up, strange trading. Uh, some small figure approaches. I've heard of your vegetables. Allow me to take some and buy my other. It will be a worthwhile trade. Sure, let's get some baskets. So uh, we need some more vegetables. As for the cook thing, I should probably yeah, I should probably switch those guys back. So uh, you are level two. My farm has actually been bugging out. I'm not sure why that is. Um, I'll show you in a sec. But let's find Mr. Farmer. He should be a low level. Yep. Uh, we ditch him. Uh, wait for him to do his whole song and dance. Then find cook number two. Yeah, it, 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 it was really weird. Uh, if we promote them back to a farmer, things should be normal. We can uh, pick up the stuff they were using. It's, uh, it feels a bit stupid now, I'll admit. Can I, can I not pick that up? That seems a little... Okay, I, and I guess I'll just destroy them. Uh, yes, destroy. Get out of here. Um, anyway, and now that's done, uh, we've got a group of three masked people calmly make their way towards the banner. So they seem peaceful, greeting everyone who comes close with a strange but simple motion, uh, spreading their hands open in a wide circle, then clasping them together as they bow their heads. Peaceful travellers, welcome! Okay, so upon reaching the banner, three of them stop. Everything about them is strange. That is some description stuff. Uh, they have a gold necklace with a massive sapphire. Who are you? Okay, look at them inspecting. They look, they look like a rabbit. Um, right, hitting those before she's the little one straight back up. Okay, t uh, so, disciple of monkey greetings of Hesty, we travel from royalty our lineage to reintroduce, please. So, are these the rabbit people? I Okay, yes, pleasure to meet you, pleasure to meet you, pleasure to meet you, yeah? Um, right, while they speak, it takes a moment to look into the eyes of each person gathered around here. Uh, we, we are in need of... What do you want? Okay, oh my. I'm just going to click through this. Um, the light. Um, magical fire. Thank you for this wonderful gift. 
Um, we've got our township quest now. Give it a sec. Uh, that'll be sorted. There's strange trading. I was running when they were going to show up. Can I get my fountain, please? Who is fighting? It, it, it's been peaceful for the past hour. And now it decides it's a good time to throw big rock man at me. Uh, but sets down the scepter. Right. I set it on the ground, backs away. I can remember what's different faces of the crowd. We're going to stay for a while and learn things. Okay. So I guess that's... Uh, is that where we go now? They're, are they just members of our town? Yeah, so we've got... The, are these, the, the, these are like the royal rabbit people? What the... Sure, good good for them. <laughs> I'm, I'm lost, but... Man, that was a lot of text. I'm kind of glad I didn't end up reading that. And strange trading. Yeah, um, talking about strange trading. Raw vegetables. I'm not sure what's going on with our farmers. Like, I think, I think they're busted. I think they're busted. But I've got, I've got... I've got a trick up my sleeve, and you'll notice it's in the top left. So, and we've got all these things. And um, one of these bad boys is that I was trying to figure out how I could fix this. If you do control C, and then we find, <laughs> yep, you can see that I was uh, attempting a certain, a let's well, just drive this up a few, that was there, eh? But I think, if I can, uh, there is a command in here. Oh, looks like command didn't work, by the way. I think if we do AI underscore reconsider, this should basically yell at them to do something more important with their time. So result equals true, uh, restocking items. So if we if we tick off hall, uh, they'll do stressing by the fire, but we can tell them, how about you reconsider and do something of actual worth? And uh, it, it's, it's meant to fix any issues that come up. Oh, we'll do the same thing here with Mr. Master Farmer, just tell them to reconsider a few times. And eventually this should kick them back in gear. Um, again, it's very slight, but <laughs> sorry about the uh, thing that's in the top left now. It was just... Again, I'm not. I'm not sure what this whole uh, thing is. It's, it's, a, it's a bit weird, but we'll uh, we'll we'll go with it. Anyway, daily update. Like I said, because they haven't been farming, we are running rapidly out of food, uh, which is bad, very bad. So, um, while we wait for Mr. Statue Man to get crafted, I am gonna set about. Actually, you know, you know, we don't need to remove them. But I, actually, yes, we do need to remove them. I, I have a conspiracy as for why they ain't working properly, and I will I will put it to the test, see if it works. And it won't let me select this zone. But essentially, what my hypothesis is, is because we've surrounded this with water, it doesn't want to, like, let them in to harvest. And if it does, it's only briefly, because they can't stay for whatever reason. That's legit my only guess. So we're going to make things a little bit, um, interesting, shall we say. And I'm going to start with a test farm. So I'm going to do this, and you see how it, like, see how it does, see how, see how it does that? I'm, I'm going to bring them down to 10 by 10. And what it should do, it should give them... Oh, I'm doing that in the wrong spot. But that's the, that's the general idea. I think, yeah, if we, well, if we bring them as 9 by 9 actually, I think that might be better. Yeah, 9, nine by 9 why why not? Give it give it a shot, see what happens, never know. Uh, so if we throw turnips in there, for example, and then we do another 9 by 9 they've got exactly two spaces on the side, and they are already in here. I mean, yeah, I mean, it sucks that we're getting less stuff, I guess, but at the same time, I can't complain. Solely because it might mean they're a little bit more productive. I, I don't know though. It's not it's not set in stone but I figured I might as well start on this because on the, Honestly, I, I didn't realize it but these guys were holding me back a whole bunch uh, So seeing how they set about doing All this stuff now will be interesting But I think yeah, because we've got to get our paddy field up in here. We might might have enough space for something on the end uh, yeah, it's a paddy field and that's that's everything. Uh, we'll just make them have this one ready for whenever we need it um, hopefully uh, that sorts itself out and they, they work. Uh, but now, what you're probably here for, uh, six minutes into the, after the cutscene break, uh, split even, Valor of Sid, I uh, figure. Since uh, we, this place likes to get invaded a lot, we might as well put, give this place a nice little fountain of its own. So I'm going to send it down here. And I think, is this person going over to the place? Who's placing it? I would like to know. Well, one of you's got to place it, right? There's so many of you. Here we are. Chomper Whopper. How's it feel to be the... The person who's gonna finally get us out of this part of the series that's we've been in this part of the series for a while, so I I ain't complaining. But I think if we can get ready to tick some things off, I hope strange trading can be ticked off shortly. <gasps> okay, they're tilling the land. This is groundbreaking. Uh, well, you know, it's more groundbreaking. Hmm. I'm not sure what that does. Anyway, um, so if we do Sid's villain now, complete that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it summons everyone in. I'm not sure what it does. 
But every time I press complete, it summons a lot of people. Oh god, are those goblins. Um. Um. Is that meant to be people in my town, or... What, are you meant to be getting, like, killed or something? Where, where, what? What? <laughs> what? Anyway, we've established our thing now, which means we get uh, better weapons, engineer things, uh, matrix and statues, blacksmith decorations, and tier 3 music. Yeah, so it means we get... <laughs> more music tracks. <sighs> I was going insane, and oh my god, there is so many things. What is this? I I'm walking up my thing. Okay, we've, al we've already seen this. Oh my, why is it giving me so many notifications? Oh, we've got that again. And go again. Oh, this is because I clicked it multiple times, isn't it? Okay, here we are. So it surely speaks to the heroism of whoever he was. Uh, so if we click through this, um, that should mean we get cool things. So what an inspiring thing. You know, maybe I shouldn't have clicked that multiple times. All right, here we are, man. So it seems um, you're all grown up, kind of. So, this thing is special. Do we have anything left to do after this point? Because this has been... A hey, I've got to go through the same conversation multiple times, but... Oh, we have to do the autosave, though. Um, no, I don't think if there's anything else. It, 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 it's weird. Because it, it's a very abrupt end, like, re-embarking is something I don't want to do, but at the same time, the series does function as a nice little buffer. Uh, now, I suppose we've got some stuff left to do, so we'll, uh, we'll stick with it for a few more episodes, but... Very much the main part of this series is going to a close, which is... Uh, is, is it bittersweet? No. Uh, but, you know, you know we'll, get, we'll get ourselves a thumbnail. It'll look super nice uh, for the YouTube people. And I think, on that note, we should probably get one for the other side, too. Just just, just, just to be polite. I think I'll end this one uh, prematurely because my voice is going. Uh, but if you did enjoy this, like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. And until next time, but all said, all that side, I promise the next one is going to be less chaotic. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's Ben Ramic, and peace out.